How to treat pneumonia in sheep. If you're a shepherd or a farmer dealing with the challenge of pneumonia in your sheep, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps and strategies to help your flock recover and stay healthy. First, it's crucial to understand that pneumonia in sheep can be caused by various bacteria, viruses, and even parasites. Two common culprits are Mannheimia hemolytica and Pastorella multicida, especially in young, stressed, or commingled animals. Identifying the problem. Early detection is key. Look out for signs like coughing, heavy breathing, and lambs lagging behind the rest of the flock. If you notice these symptoms, it's essential to act quickly. Antibiotic treatment. Treatment often involves antibiotics, but it's vital to choose the right ones. Commonly recommended antibiotics include oxytetracycline, fluorphenicol, ceftiafur, and tylosin. For example, oxytetracycline can be given at 10 mg per kilogram intramuscularly or intravenously every 24 hours, or as a long-acting product at 20 mg per kilogram once. Always consult with a veterinarian to determine the best antibiotic based on bacterial culture and antimicrobial susceptibility testing. Supportive care. In addition to antibiotics, supportive care is important. Anti-inflammatory medications like flunixin meglumine, meloxicam, or ketoprofen can help control endotoxemia and inflammation. Ensuring your sheep have access to good nutrition, fresh water, and proper parasite management can also aid in their recovery. Vaccination prevention is often better than cure. Vaccines that incorporate iron-regulated proteins can provide cross-protection against multiple serotypes of pastorella. Breeding ewes need a primary course of two injections four to six weeks apart, followed by an annual booster four to six weeks before lambing. Lambs can be vaccinated from 10 days old with two doses to ensure they develop active immunity. Environmental management. Environmental factors play a significant role in preventing pneumonia outbreaks. Reducing stressors such as crowding, mustering in hot, dusty conditions, and poor ventilation can help. Improving ventilation, lowering dust and humidity levels, and reducing stocking density are all important. For instance, using sprinkler systems to dampen dust in yards can prevent inhalation of harmful particles. Managing stress. Stress can make sheep more susceptible to pneumonia. Minimize yarding and mustering, especially in hot conditions, and avoid activities that cause open mouth breathing. Good feed, fresh water, and effective parasite management also help in maintaining the overall health and immunity of your flock. Chronic cases. In some cases, pneumonia can become chronic. For example, atypical pneumonia caused by mycoplasma ovip pneumonia can lead to mild but persistent symptoms like a soft cough and reduced growth. While treatment is not usually necessary for mild cases, improving ventilation and reducing stocking density can help control the spread. By combining these strategies, prompt antibiotic treatment, supportive care, vaccination, and good environmental management, you can effectively treat and prevent pneumonia in your sheep. Remember, prevention is key, so always prioritize the health and well-being of your flock.